Hi guys, this is Sean 1604 coming at you with the tutorial today on how to customise your Windows Vista to get something that looks like this. Um, I'm going to split this tutorial down into different parts because I've tried to do it and it's took over 10 minutes. So the first part that we're going to look at today is Rainmeter and Firefox. Um, basically in the Rainmeter we're going to be looking at the Enigma skin and the HUD Vision skin. Um, after that I'm going to do a tutorial on Rocket Dock, my Vista themes, Virtual Win, Windows Media Player and Vista Logon. Those ones will be pretty short. Main ones are these ones. I also had a question on how I customised my Firefox to get it to look like this. I used a, um, a tutorial that was on by v Mobile Phone 2003. Um, and basically, the things that you will need if you go into my add ons are you will need Grease Fire, Grease Monkey, and Stylus. So, Stylus is the main one. Um, now, if you type in Stylus to Google, um, you'll see my YouTube is also different, it's black. Um, but if you go on here, and um, this is the add-on, once you've got Grease Fire and Grease Monkey install this, um, once this decides to load up, go into this site here, userstyles.org, and this is where you get the styles. So they're really, really easy to do. All you do is go, I have ones I'm using for my Vista, um, ones that I'm using to go with my Vista theme are the dark logon one. Where's the dark one? There's a dark version um, of the Firefox that's their Vista theme, all black, Firefox 3. Um, if you go into um, Valakar, is it Valakar? User styles, you can get the styles for the Google on here, and then it'd be a lot easier for you because if you can see them here, look, I'm using the ba black background and the, the silver logo, so that will replace them, and then your um, Google will look like this. So it looks really cool. You can also get ones like I say for YouTube and all different ones if you want to make it look like DeviantArt or there's a lot of different ones for Facebook and everything. Um, but you can search or you can use new styles, top styles, whatever. Um, so that's how I got that. Now the main focus of my tutorial, like I say, is going to be Rainmeter, um, which is this program that you see running on my desktop. If you don't know what it is, um, all these things here are. I turn that. Um, all these things here are all from Rainmeter. Um, so. To get it to so it looks something like this, the program when you install it, if you go to configs, the first one you get is a tranquil thing, which is really really boring. There's nothing in it really that you should use because it doesn't really look very nice. Um, the ones that I've installed that I'm using are 10 foot HUD, which is the clock you see in the middle there. Um, Dark Rain Meter was just for this um, background that I like. Um, Enigma is the main one of the main ones, and HUD Vision is another main one. Enigma and them, they both come with installers, but if you don't know how to do it, once you download the zip file, simply place it in here, go into the sense folder and place the folder in here, and then it will appear the next time you start Rainmeter in the configs folder. Now, um, I'm going to show you what happens um, with an Enigma first, was that the first one I had? Yeah, Enigma. So, the things that I'm using from Enigma are the launcher and the launcher menu. So the launcher is actually down here, you can't see it's behind this bit, but it's basically for this one in the middle here, the torrents, pictures, control panel, and basically when you click on it, click on a picture, it opens up the folder. So when you get it, it's actually for Firefox and stuff like that, but I changed it, um, I edited the skin. So if you're going to edit skin, which you see me do there, I changed these. So I changed the picture, which if you go into the skins folder and go into the Enigma folder, and go into wherever that launcher is located, it's in here, go into the menu folder and there's all the pictures that you can use that come with it. You can actually make your own one, I made a test one and you can actually use it, um, but you have to make it obviously the right size and whatever, and I can really, I've not done that yet, but you can do it. So I use the comp one. Um, you can see here comp, I've changed it to comp.png and comp active. It basically means when you click on it, it lights up, so that's why you need to. Um, and I ch all you do is change the location, which is that part, and um, that will change where you, um, like if you've got, if you want any EXE to, lo to run, like Notepad, which is this one, it'll run Notepad. So that's one of them. Um, you can read it here, it actually tells you how to do it, um, kind of, it's not really, but it's, it's quite good. Um, the next one I'm using from it is... Um, the Gmail one, now the Gmail one I'm actually using because I don't have Gmail, it's basically to show you what happens when you edit a skin. Um, now if you're using Windows Vista that's what I'm going to show you, so if you edit and put your Gmail in here, so I'll just put Sean dot gmail dot sean dot 36 at gmail dot com, so I'll say that was my Gmail pass account and my password was whatever. Now when you go to save it, it says make sure you move the backets and whatever, but that once you update it, it should update. But that's what I'm saying. Once you hit save, 
it will give you this error here. Now a lot of people have been looking about and it says that you get this error that's basically because you don't have admin access to the folder you're trying to save it in, which is this folder, which is in the Enigma folder. Um, now the best thing to do is save it to your desktop and just save it as the same thing .ini and save it there. Now once you've saved it there all you do is go into the fo find the folder in the Enigma folder which isn't in the side taskbar it must be in the sidebar maybe it is in the gmail that's it. So all you do is drag it in here and hit move and replace and once you've done that it will update and then when you hit skin, edit skin, uh, refresh skin and then it will update it. So like if I do this and change it to I don't know a song um, Rise Against because they're my favourite band so just say I put in a song to update from Rise Against and hit save um, now because I've changed this it will eventually update or like I say you can go to skin refresh skin and it will be there now the reason I, I didn't have to save when I saved that there and it didn't say that error is because I've already done the thing where I said that you can drag in um, the f into the new f and once you've dragged it into the the original folder then you won't have to keep doing that it's only the first time that you've done it so once the f when you've done that the first time then that's you um, now all you need to do is close that and then that's that's actually from HUD Vision the notes um, that's actually not sorry it is it's from the Enigma so that's one of the Enigma ones that you can get so like, like I say when you go to save it the first time save it to your desktop and drag it into the folder it needs to go into it and then that will be you um, another thing from quickly is the oh there yeah so these ones which is like you say RSS reader so if you get the RSS feed and you get three with it but you can obviously make more and put them into folders and um, you just edit the skin put in the URL there for the RSS feed the actual RSS feed itself and then a link that you want the the main click to go to so if I click on gigs in Scotland it takes me to this link here so that's what that is and when, again when you save it to your desktop and drag in it will update um, now is there anything else? The calendar which is this thing up here obviously um, the 10 foot HD which is a clock um, so when you get all these and add them to your desktop make sure it's obviously if you've got a dark background you want to have the right one um, but it will be draggable when you get it and then obviously you don't want to be moving it about by accident so all you do is hit tick off draggable and then you can't move it um, now I'm going to close this skin, make sure you hit close skin if you want to delete it not exit because if you hit exit it will exit rain meter now from the 10 for HUD I'm using the CPU 1234 because I have 4 CPUs which is all these things you can see here which are all my CPUs my hard disk 1, my info system and my RAM which is here so that's pretty much it, the weather one as well was a bit dodgy to do but this is the best weather one out at the moment that I could find all you do is go into this website here find your location which is from AccuWeather but go into this one here because it gets you the code that you need to put in here and once you do that, just change that to Glasgow and you're set to go again, save it to your desktop and drag in. I named it Glasgow 1 just for the sake of it, but you can just say, save it as the same name that you get with it. So that's pretty much it for um, Rain Meter and Firefox, the two things that I have on here to show you. Now the next um, tutorial will be on Rocket Dock, Vista Themes, Virtue 1, which I'll give you a quick demonstration, is this here where you get four backgrounds. Um, and my Windows Media Player and my Vista logon. Okay, so I will be back in a little while, but I will upload this first. <laughs>